What's up, guys? It is Sam here, and today I wanted to talk about how I got a 50 plus percent return in the stock market over the past year. So, with that being said, if this is your first time here, what's good? My name is Sam, and for those of you that are returning, what's good? It's good to see you. So, um, this is my Robinhood portfolio. I use Robinhood because it is 100% free to trade. Uh, let me say it again, it's free, right? So, once Robinhood did this, now all the other brokerage firms are doing the same thing. But <clears throat> that's why I have had Robinhood. And I didn't really start to actively trade, and it was more so in options, um, until... March 10th of 2019. So it hasn't quite been a year of very, very active, but I was invested for the whole year. Um, so this is my portfolio. I'll just refresh the page here so you can see this. Uh, there we go. So this is uh, all, this is a whole portfolio right now. Now, but I want to show you the actual return. So we're going to go over to the home page here. Uh, so this is obviously today. This is over the past month. I've had a 30% return. Over the past three months, a 45% return. And then if you look at actually right here, the one year return is 51%. So um, as you can see, there's one little kind of spike there, just a smidge. Uh, that was actually my options trading. Um, I grew the portfolio from about five grand to twelve thousand dollars in like two months uh it's it's a hundred percent possible like i can i did it uh, but as you can see over the next two months i lost it all and some it took me a little bit of time to work back and then i lost some more and then i was like i need to change my strategy so at this point right here for a short period of time i didn't really trade i was like nope i'm not going to do anything because it just went from 12,000 down to like 3,000 something, right? 4,000 something, right? So uh, I just was like, nope, I got to I gotta slow down for a second. And I still had some positions open that I had to wait to get out of. But I was like, I'm not going to do any more trading at this moment in time. Uh, I'm just going to work on these positions that I have and see if I can get out of them profitably. Um, or roll them into the future so that I can get out of them profitably with options trading. You, you know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> and I and I closed out the positions. Once I closed out the positions, there was like a couple weeks where I didn't do anything trading-wise. <clears throat> and then probably about two weeks, maybe 10 days, I didn't do any trading. And then I started trading again um, in options, but much less risky positions. That's why you see this build up is a little slower. Uh, but then I still got knocked out and lost. So I was like, I need to go even more conservative in my approach to risk. <clears throat> so I started taking even less risk with my options positions. Uh, if you want to learn more about the options positions, let me know down below in the comments and use the hashtag stole uh, so that I can find it. And, uh, and then maybe I can make a video on how, more of my style for trading options. You can see I currently have three positions open um, right now, which I can talk about in a second. But I took a much, much more conservative approach, and um, I started taking money from options trading and putting it into equity, right? putting it into stocks. So um, you can see that I have four contracts open. Versus I was using the entire portfolio to trade options. Now I've got a much more balanced portfolio. Um, I want to continue to supply cash to this account. However, um, I've got, I want to use that cash to buy real estate instead. So I'm like, at this moment, I'm cash. I'm trying to push as much of that cash I can generate. I save around 70% of what I make. So all that money goes towards like real estate because I think I can generate a higher return than 50%. Um, but we'll see, you know. And as my cash flow continues to grow, that's where I'll be able to fund this and start trading some bigger positions uh, as the portfolio grows. But I uh, continue to take money off the table from options and put it into equities. Um, over here, you can see the shares that I actually have uh, starting at uh, WPG. 
and up to Tesla. So WPG was a referral, which means that like there's a link in the description. If you use the link in the description, you get a free stock. I get a free stock if you open an account and you put money into it. Right, you don't have to trade. You can just close it afterwards and take the free stock and close it down. But somebody did that, and I was able to get a free stock out of that. So that's amazing. Uh, this has happened a couple times. I think maybe four times over the past year, maybe five. Uh, but I think four times. I think my girlfriend was one. I think five times has happened. I think five times has happened over the last year. Um. So that's in the number, and one of those times I got some, I got lift, right? So this is $88, $88 position. So I got $88 from a referral from somebody clicking in that link in the description, and they signed up, and they got. I don't, I don't know if they got the same shares, but there's the chance that every time it, you can use that link too, right? You can take that link, you can go into your Facebook or your Twitter, wherever you have attention, and you can put it out there and start talking about it and explaining it to people, what it is and how it works. And if anybody uses that link, then you also get a free share of stock. So this is literally what I've been doing is I just put it out there and uh, try to provide value as much as I can. And people are curious, some of them. So they'll click over and check it out. Uh, the biggest position I have is actually Tesla. Tesla. Um, I'm uh, bullish on the company. I've actually been following them for 10 years roughly now if I actually have another YouTube channel that has Tesla videos up there from like 2014 uh, so I, I'm a big fan of them and I've started acquiring your shares and I will continue to acquire shares in this price uh, probably all the way up to like it I don't know we'll, we'll see how it plays out like in my mind it might be a thousand bucks at the current state of understanding of what's happening in the company and the growth. Uh, but I think I might even go as a coach a thousand and higher. I think I'll probably honestly still continue to buy. Uh, but it's not like I'm going to buy often, right? Because I told you I'm not funding this account at this moment. So how do I generate cash to buy more shares of these companies is through options trading. So I have these three positions open. Right, we'll just start at the top. This is one I opened up a while ago. Or no, this one was recent, I think. Yeah, this one was recent. It expires uh, about a month away, a little bit over a month away. And I received 40 bucks, $38 right here. So I sold this to somebody for 38 bucks. Uh, it's currently worth $19. So uh, I already have a return. Uh, let's see. The total return on this is already 50%. So I... Try to find things like this where I can generate a return, 19, right? So this is, I'm going to get the all $38 and I'll probably just let this ride till it, it closes out. Because um, this is 285 and 280 and Tesla's at like 350-ish, 360. So this will ride out uh, and I'll get another $19. That's it. And because it's a put credit spread. So now let's move on to, let's move on to this position and then we'll go to the big position. Um, so this is also one contract. Uh, again, it's a put credit spread. And the credit, <laughs> this is a stupid amount of credit, right? So I have a spread on here, right? This is a $10 spread from 330 to 320. Uh, it expires in September of 2020, right? So the most amount I can lose on this position is a thousand dollars the spread between the prices here 330 and 320 so the most i can lose is a thousand bucks to give the market this insurance right because that's essentially what i'm doing and with you know options the premium i was able to collect from the market was 535 dollars so the actual amount that i could lose on this position would be uh, what is the difference between that $465? The most I could lose is $465 on this position. If like a year away, Tesla, Tesla's below $330. And if you follow the company and you have any understanding of what the company's doing, not what the news is saying, you know that there's a good, and I'm not, you shouldn't take this as financial advice by any stretch of the fucking imagination, but um, there's a very high chance in the longer term that this is going to be 
above 330, in my opinion, based upon my research. Um, you should do your own fucking research. But I'm investing in Tesla for the long term. The options I'm trading uh, to generate the cash to buy more because I'm not funding this, right? So this one right here, I've already made 95 bucks on. And I opened it now recently. So trading these options adds to my return. The last position, I have two contracts open here. Uh, I sold this for $480. So what that means is, uh, as you can see, this is 220 to 215. This is over a hundred dollars below where the market currently is. So I opened this up when the market dropped. Uh, I don't know, a couple months ago, I think. And I got almost $500 credit for it on two positions. So that means that's 480 times two, which is, you know, roughly a thousand bucks, right? 960. So I got $960. The most I could lose on the position would be a thousand dollars. Wow, this is retarded. Uh, so the most I can lose is the spread between 220 and 215, which is five bucks times 100 shares, because every options contract is based on 100 shares. So five bucks times 100 shares is uh, 500 bucks times two contracts, because you can see I have two contracts down here. That'd be $1,000, but it got 960 dollars do you guys see this so this type of thing doesn't happen i haven't like really taken a look at it i knew it was performing very well but uh this is what you can do like i'm not saying you should do any of this i'm just saying this is what i have done you can see that i've got an 87 percent return on this uh 412 dollars um and i've this doesn't expire until March 2020, and I'm going to probably, honestly, close this out before March 2020, just so I can free up that $1,000 to capitalize on opportunities when I see them. Um, because right now, I only have $51 of buying power, and I want to be able to take advantage of opportunities that I see in the market, uh, but you, I can't do that if I don't put more money into it or close out this position so I have another thousand dollars to open up a, or a couple thousand dollars to open up contracts. But anyways, I appreciate you guys. Um, and oh, check this out. The SPY, which is the S&P 500 returned over the last year, 26%. So I've almost doubled the S&P 500 index uh, in terms of total return. Now, clearly that's not a apples to apples comparison uh, because I have, um, options that are on my portfolio but it is a interesting benchmark to compare to from a return standpoint to see how i'm actually performing so say over the next couple of years if i'm continually able to beat the market relative to the s p 500 then i will continue to trade if over the next couple of years as i monitor my progress and i see that i am not performing as well as the s p 500 then i shift more to um, index funds and ETFs, um, which I don't know, it'll be interesting to play out uh, to see how this uh, plays out in the next couple of years. So if you wanna watch that, make sure you press that subscribe button. Peace, thank you so much for watching.